Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Chope of the Hospital for Large Animals. We're here today to go over forelimb anatomy so that if you have any swelling or injury on your own horse, you can have a better idea what it correlates to, or if you're looking to see if there's any injury on your own horse. This is referred to as the metacarpal region of the horse. On the back of the leg are the two big flexor tendons, your superficial digital flexor tendon, which forms this nice straight line here. Just deep to it is known as the deep digital flexor tendon, and you can feel that if you run your thumb and forefinger back and forth between the two. The strong band that runs down right here on each side of the leg and almost feels like a bone is the suspensory branches. The top of it is the suspensory ligament, and then it's a branch on each side. This is generally a very easy area to feel for swelling and abnormality of your suspensory branches. The front part of the leg is all the cannon bone. There's sometimes a fluid swelling here, which most horse people know is the digital sheath. So this is your flexor tendon sheath here, but a swelling that's in front of the suspensory branch between the bone here is the fetlock joint. So this is part of fetlock joint, this is part of digital sheath. You can also get a fusion of the fetlock joint on the dorsum or front part of the fetlock as well. Coming down into the back of the pastern, it's hard to feel specific structures, but a fluid swelling back here is also part of the digital te flexor tendon sheath and may represent increased fluid or inflammation of that tendon sheath. On the front part at the coronary band is at the level of your coffin joint, so sometimes there is palpable swelling of the coffin joint or the collateral ligaments which sit right on each side of the coffin joint here and here going into the leg. So if you have specific swelling in a tendon or the suspensory branches, sometimes that's possible to feel. If your horse is to have a wound in any region from here to here on the back of the leg, you have to be concerned that it could be in the flexor tendon sheath, the fetlock joint here, here, or the flexor tendon sheath here distally, and it's advisable to call your veterinarian. So if your horse is lame or has an obvious swelling and you've called the veterinarian, the one thing they're going to want to do is palpate the forelimb. So they will evaluate it weight bearing as we just did. And then they will pick up the front limb and start to feel the individual structures. So they will methodically take their thumb and forefinger and squeeze down the superficial digital flexor tendon, looking for signs of sensitivity or swelling. Then they'll go a little deeper for the deep digital flexor tendon and work their way down. And then try to feel the origin of the suspensory ligament where you slide the flexor tendons to one side and squeeze in between the head of the splint bones on the back of the cannon bone. And do the same thing from medially and run down the body of the suspensory ligament and then the medial and lateral branches. They may squeeze over the sesamoid bones on the side and base of the sesamoid bones and feel the back of the pastern for any thickening as well. Additionally, they may check the fetlock joint for range of motion in this flex position.